The Eco V3. Hmm. When trash fills the land that we live in, there's only one thing, one man, that could possibly save us. Traveling faster than a speeding llama, coming at you harder than a cougar, the man with the plan to pick up the trash. He is the Eco Bee. <sighs> <gasps> so you want to know what the Eco B3 is? Well, I'll tell you. The Eco B3 is a smart thermostat that's focused on saving you money and also conserving less energy. But it does it in a unique fashion. It links to your wireless network and allows for remote access from anywhere, as long as you download the app from the iOS App Store or the Google Play Store. Inside the box, you get the thermostat, which is pre-attached to the smaller base plate. You get a small room sensor with a stand. You get a power extender kit, a large base plate, lots of paperwork and instructions for installation, which I highly suggest reading. And finally, you get some Ecobee stickers. Honestly, installation is a lot easier than it sounds. At least for my partner OT for Tech, he installed his and he did a fantastic job. Me, I'm a busy bee, so I don't really have time to install anything, but hey, it's easy. Start by cutting off the power to your thermostat at the circuit breaker or the HVAC switch. Open up your current thermostat. In this case, it was made in the 1800s, so my buddy OT for Tech is going from rags to riches. Make sure you take a picture of your current wire setup for reference as this is extremely important so that way you have something to go by when reconnecting everything. Disconnect the wires and remove the thermostat off of the wall. Next up, separate the Eco B3 from the small base plate and remove the cardboard insert. If you're like my buddy OT for Tech and you don't have cutouts already for placement, I recommend using a Sharpie or a pen to mark the areas you'll be drilling. In this case, we also needed to pre-drill a couple holes in the mounting plate since the screws that came with the Eco B3 aren't really the strongest. Once you got all that done, go ahead and install the drywall plugs and then screw in your base plate to the wall. Simple as that. Using the picture you took in the beginning as reference and the manual that came with the Eco B3, of course, start reassembling the wires to the appropriate locations. Finally, tuck the wires back into the large wall cutout as much as possible. Connect the Eco B3 into the base plate, cut the power back on, and that's it. The Eco B3 should turn on instantly once the power is back on. It's going to prompt you through a setup process that does take a little bit of time, but after that, it's all smooth sailing. To connect your Eco B3 to your wireless network, you have two choices. Number one, locate your network, enter your password, and that's it. Number two, use your iOS device for a connection, which I'm going to show you right now. Go into your Wi-Fi settings and locate the Eco B3. Tap on it. It will then connect the accessory to the Wi-Fi network you are already connected to on your iOS device. Next up, you're going to want to set up an Eco B3 account after downloading the app. The process is painless and doesn't take long, but make sure you remember your login info so that way you can log into your account from other devices. To connect the room sensor, stand in front of the Eco B3 with the sensor and remove the pull tab on the back side. The Eco B3 thermostat will automatically detect it and connect to it. You can mount the room sensor on a wall, or you can use a stand like you see here. To use a stand, you will first need to remove the battery cover and then connect the stand. Place the room sensor in an area that gets good airflow and can also detect movement in the room as these are the two main features of the room sensor and what makes the Eco B3 stand out from the crowd. What I mean by that is the Eco B3 is not like your typical smart thermostats that only allow you to adjust the temperature and set up a schedule. Of course, with the Eco B3, you can still set up a schedule as in the time that you're home, the time that you go to work, and then the time that you go to sleep. And then you assign a temperature to those specific events as well as the time for those events. Where the Eco B3 kicks it up a notch is by using the room sensors I previously mentioned. You see, setting schedules like we just did isn't new. However, this thermostat can detect movement in a room or if there's not any movement in the room. For instance, if you get off work early and you're home before your scheduled time on your thermostat says that you should be home, the Ecobee will detect the movement and then automatically kick into the home setting and adjust the temperature. So that's not really saving you any money, right? Well, here's the other side of that. The Ecobee 3 will also detect when there's no movement and then go into the away setting. So if you're supposed to be home according to the schedule on your thermostat, and the Ecobee detects no movement, it will go into the away setting and adjust the temperature accordingly. So in theory, there's no reason to schedule different events because as long as you're using the sensors, it's automatically going to do everything for you. It's an extremely smart thermostat. The application that you download from either the App Store or the Google Play Store is extremely intuitive and allows you to pretty much control your thermostat completely. 
This includes setting up the times and temperatures for those events I previously mentioned, as well as going into a vacation mode. So if you know you're going on vacation, you can input those dates and adjust your thermostat accordingly for the future. Or if you took a spontaneous vacation, you can go ahead and put it in vacation mode from your phone. It's also important to mention that if you're using this on an iOS device, you also have the HomeKit ability. In other words, Siri is able to control your thermostat just using voice commands. The actual thermostat itself also has sensors built into it. So in other words, when you're not around it, the display will dim to conserve power. And then when you approach it, it will light up and get ready for function. You can also view the weather, set reminders, and also memos all from your thermostat if that's your type of thing. Despite what other reviews have said, my buddy OT for Tech said that he didn't have any issues with the touchscreen. It was extremely responsive, no lag, and it was sensitive to touch. Now this is very subjective, but I find the aesthetics of the Ecobee 3 to be absolutely gorgeous. Despite the wall that you're seeing it on that looks like poop, um, if it was in a modern house, it would really pop and stand out. But overall, my buddy OT for Tech said that he loves this thing and he really just couldn't picture um, cooling his house without it. Once you get one of these, it's like impossible to go back to an old thermostat. The Ecobee 3 retails for 249 bucks, and that's a great price considering the money you're going to save in the long run. I want to give a huge thanks to Ecobee for sending this out for me to try out. And if you guys are interested in getting one of these for yourself, just hit up the description and you'll find the links to purchase as well as a direct website. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and like it like you did your first crush. Share it like you do your personal thoughts. Follow me like I was your chief commander. And of course, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Be easy.